More than a hundred years of history went up in flames last night, and a piece of Glasgow's heart went with them. The city's art school was a cultural landmark, loved here and far beyond. Now it's gone. There are many questions surrounding the fire, not least the time it took for the alarm to be raised. The fire brigade were alerted by calls from the public, not by alarms, and when they arrived, much of this iconic building was already well alight. The building in which the fire started has been extensively damaged in fire. It has reached from the ground floor right through to the roof. It is significantly damaged. At one point, 20 engines and 120 firefighters were at the scene. They drew water from the River Clyde to battle the flames. Mercifully, no one was hurt. That's just sad. Um, Such a historic building and it's just gone. My friend looked out the window and said, the, the flames outside. It's, it's just completely heartbreaking. It's just unbelievable. By the time the fire was extinguished, it had destroyed not just the art school, but much of an entire block right in the heart of Glasgow. Scotland's first minister came to survey the damage today. All of us owe a huge debt of gratitude to our firefighters in particular, but all the emergency services. Uh, the Macintosh building is such a special building, but it is a building. And the most important thing today is that we're not mourning loss of life. And we should not forget that. That is down to the skill and the speedy response of the fire service. And uh, for that, I am immensely grateful to all of them. This building was more than just a working art college. It was a work of art in itself. Charles Rennie Macintosh's masterpiece. There was dismay when fire took one wing of it four years ago. Now. There's disbelief. Now the fire has subsided, an investigation will begin into how on earth this iconic building could burn so spectacularly and so quickly again. There's already talk of rebuilding here, creating something from these ashes, but it'll take years and cost millions to bring this structure and its spirit back to life. Martin Geisler, ITV News, Glasgow.